How we doing? We're on the second day of a weekend hut up here in New Mexico. Here with my good friend Jesse Novak, uh, sheep hunter extraordinaire. And uh, he said about two years ago, up in the Kaibab, said, heck, you gotta put in for this Barbary sheep hunt. It's a, it's a really fun hunt and these beautiful animals. And um, he invited me to come up here and chase these critters with him. I don't know anybody that spends more time in sheep country than, than Jesse, so I really took advantage of wanting to come up here and, and see what, uh, what it was all about. Really glad I did. He uh, blessed up these animals here at 7.15 this morning. And uh, we crossed a really deep canyon, came up over, closed the distance to about 430 yards and nailed them right in the, right in the shoulder right there. It was a really quick, uh, quick deal and um, couldn't be happier. This is the first week of uh, February um, 2011 really really heavy cold spell we've been having we've been having uh, zero degrees at night with the windshield that keeps it down to about negative 17 and uh, needless to say it's, this has probably been one of my coldest hunts and uh, really makes going after these uh, these beautiful animals really tough uh, both mentally and uh, on your body uh, you burn a lot of calories and you're just trying to grab uh, footing where these uh, Barbary sheep live. Their hooves are very, very interesting. They're uh, really large and they're very rubbery. And these sheep can really traverse this terrain very easily. Uh, they'll travel in groups and uh, sometimes that makes it difficult to uh, acquire a shot on a lone ram like the, this one here. Uh, when we glassed them up, they were in a group of about 15, 20, uh, together with some mule deer. Mule deer were feeding right along with them. Uh, we probably saw about 25 mule deer today. Um, and uh, this this ram here was uh, br uh, trying to breed a, a female and uh, bounded her several times and uh, really showed his dominance in the group. And, and Jesse said, if you like them, we'll take them. And I said, it's showtime and the rest is history. Could, I couldn't be happier. And um, now we got a... Uh, four and a half hour hike back to uh, no man's land and we're gonna take care of this guy and, and pack him out. Thanks again and uh, I look forward to doing it again.